Song Without Words is also about music and its importance to the partially deaf. Uh, it's very important to us because music has its own definite message of its own. Uh, not the words, we don't hear the words. I've never heard the words, the, the, the lyrics to, to songs, unless of course I'd, I'd read them. Um, and because music has its own message, uh, it has a special importance to us because it enables us to communicate in an immediate way by listening or by playing the piano, as I do. Uh, I can hear the low notes um, and makes us feel as if we are really full participants in the world. So I think the most frustrating thing for Beethoven was not that he couldn't hear music, I think he always could, but that he couldn't hear the words that were people were speaking to him. He, for most of his life, he could hear the sound of those words like I do, but he couldn't figure out, uh, except by the use of lyrical. So though the term didn't exist then, uh, he couldn't figure out what people were saying. When I listened to music uh, with hearing aids, uh, for the first time when I did, suddenly I could hear the violins and the flutes and the piccolos and they took over the melody from the basses, the bass instruments that I had heard. And so operas and concerts and music, in a sense, really came to life for me. And that really was more important than uh, the work that hearing aids do with words, because they really are imperfect. Music is a vital element of our lives. Uh, it's also a vital element of the lives of the profoundly deaf who sign because I think in the movement of their hands and faces and their gestures they have found a kind of uh, music of, of their own. Uh, so the book does explore music at length and its importance to be notably uh